What's going on guys and girls? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at how you can analyze your rides on Strava. It's good to see you here. Thank you for joining me in this video. Now this is a new format called Two Minute Tuesday. Normally creating videos takes a long time, a lot of editing process, and sometimes I just have some quick thoughts, some ideas, some tips that I wanna share with you guys and girls. This format is gonna allow me to do just that. Now recently I've been looking more and more at my rides on Strava, looking at the data and the analytics. So I thought what better topic to tackle first to show you how to analyze your rides on Strava. If like me, you use Strava, or if you're not a Strava user, there is gonna be something for you in this video, so do stay tuned. So let's get two minutes on screen. We're rolling. Firstly, the data you see for yourself and others may vary. This variation is due to being a paid member or a regular member of Strava. You have the basic information over here on the right. Down below, you can see that we have our segments here, and we also have the map, and then beneath that, we have all the segments. What I wanna take a look at is the analysis tab, and this is up here on the left-hand side. This is where we can see more detailed information about the ride. We can see the route here, and I'm just gonna click and drag to expand. Now, if we just hover over this graph here, you can see a marker on the map, and what we can actually do is click a segment. So I'm just gonna click, and drag out and you can see it highlighting. What this is going to do is show you the data for this specific part of the route that you have highlighted. Now the data down below is going to give us speed, estimated power, heart rate, cadence and temperature. If the user isn't tracking their power with a power meter, this is going to be an estimated power. So let's scroll up to the top and I want to look over here on the left hand side. I want to look at relative effort. You can't see the relative effort of other people. So here you can see your efforts and it's going to give you information whether or not a ride is hard, how much effort you're putting out. It's going to compare rides against existing rides. We can also click on the heart rate over here on the left and this is going to show us our zones. So as long as you put your max heart rate in the settings of Strava, this is going to work out your zones and from that you can see in each ride what zones you were in. Again, you also have power. This is gonna show you your power data. What I'm gonna do is go back to overview and I wanna look at a specific segment. So I'm just gonna click here on Regents Park CCW counterclockwise and that's gonna open that segment. So in here, you have the information, just the basic information for that segment. Over here on the right, if you're a paid Strava member, you're gonna see the leaderboard. Now you can see additional information if you click here on full leaderboard. So let's do that. So you have the segment information here at the top. Again, a little bit more detailed. If we scroll down slightly, we're gonna be able to see your efforts over time. Now we've got this effort on the right, which is in yellow, and this is my PR. So this is a good judge so you can see how you're performing over time. Now if we scroll down again, what we're gonna see is the actual leaderboard. And this has filterable options. Now by default, we can see there's 40,000 people have done the loop. But actually, if you wanna see this year, you can click over here and see this year. If you wanna see my results, so this is only your laps, then this is going to show you just your results. You can see people I'm following, which is really good. You can see here Johnny's got the fastest time of people I'm following. Absolute speedster. You can also see your clubs. You can see everyone in that club. And then we've got age groups if you want to see all and also weight categories. So it's really in depth, gives you a lot of information about the specific segment. Wow, that was a lot of information in a short period of time. <laughs> that has given you a little bit of insight into the data that is available for your rides and how it can actually help you and you can see your improvements over time. Strava is really in depth and gives you lots and lots of information, especially if you track all the information when you actually ride. So I do hope that you got something from this video or even better, I hope that you use some of these techniques or this video is gonna help you analyze your ride data. So if you did enjoy the video, smash the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this or you like this format, leave a comment below and do subscribe. Thank you again for joining me and I will see you in the next one. That's it, done.